Right guys, um, first of all, who are you? What do you do? Introduce yourselves to everyone that's going to be watching. Well, we're FTW, stands for the weekend, and I'm Kyle. I'm Tom. I'm Colin, and I'm Jake. Great. <laughs> <laughs> Good. Um, what do you think of this project in general? Why, why do you want to get involved? It's for a great call, it's a great charity. Uh, we just feel really privileged to be asked to do the single. Really privileged, and it's, it's a good song as well. So mm. the songwriter's done a really good job there. We did stuff up in um, Scotland at Usher Hall for Bernardo's, and it's a very, it's a charity that we find dear to us, that we want to work with, and we've got the chance to do it now, so it's really amazing. It's all come together great, with a lot of great people involved. Yeah. So it's a great opportunity for the songwriters as well to get, to get their material yeah. heard and get it out there as well. So it's good, all around publicity for everyone, I suppose. How do you feel about singing a song for somebody you know, probably twice, three times your age? I think it's, uh, it's good just because obviously the music industry is quite a hard, uh, a hard industry anyway. Um, so just like something like this for the opportunity for songwriters to have the chance to get the song heard yeah. is good. You know, it's uh, amazing for them. It's even more amazing for us to have the chance to sing like such great songs that people have wrote. And I think, oh, go on, go on. I'd say he, he gives us a chance to learn a new style of music. Cause obviously uh, the kind of music that we bring out isn't very similar to what we've, we've, you know, what we've recorded today. Bernardo's, but uh, yeah, it's definitely different, but it's all good. Yeah, the oldies have probably got a bit more life experience than us as well, we've got a yeah. lot more to talk about, so it's great to hear their perspective on songs and mm -hmm. stuff as opposed to what, we, what we'd normally talk about. Yeah. And showing like, like this song now, if it hadn't been for Bernardo's and this thing, you would never know, they'd ever know about it or ever heard it, and it's yeah. such a good song, it's like yeah. a waste. So it's like all these songs that people have got stacked up and hidden away, this is kind of bringing them all to life mm -hmm. now. And what did you think of your day at BBC Made of Vale Studio? Amazing. Amazing. <laughs> we, just kept, we just kept running around thinking someone stood here. Like I was in the canteen and there was like a picture like the Beatles had all been stood, stood in a row. Like with the trays I was like, oh my God, I'm stood like picture. where the Beatles are. We were trying to copy my lean over here. It's just when he's having one then. It didn't feel. So mad. We walked in there we're like, oh my God. And so many people have been here. So many great artists. and. It was just overwhelming. Mm -hmm. We found Katy Amazing. Perry's mic stand from when she did Live Lounge yeah. the day before, and I was like taking a picture to send to all my mates. I was like, look at this. <laughs> we, we, we stuck, well, we didn't steal, but we kept our visitors' badges as well to like prove yeah. we've been there. I was posting on Facebook the minute that I got it, I was like, oh, look where I am. She was like, she the point was like, can I have your visitors' badges? <laughs> I'll just pop in now, we'll be back in in a minute, get in the car, <laughs> run it away. Put a bit of parking on the car. <laughs> <laughs> so, what do you think about the band then, guys, the musicians that you met on the day? Well, Nick Mason, can I just say, what an amazing drummer from Pink Boy, my dad's yeah. favourite band, and yeah. it was just crazy to work with yeah. such a talent. Again, it's, it's a massive privilege to be asked. I mean, we was really shocked. We got an email saying it's going to be Nick Mason yeah. and, and the Simon, Simon and Little as well. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's just amazing. It's just bizarre. Really like when I told my dad and all, like all these friends and family, they're like, "Oh my God, what are you, what are you a boy band doing with, with yeah. all these people?" It's just, so it's just unreal, really, for us Brilliant. to go there. My really. mates were like, they're in a different studio, they're just making it up. I was like, no, no, look. <laughs> yeah, because it is the pictures. Yeah, we didn't really expect for them to be in the same studio with us. Mm. When we were there, we were just like, oh my God, this is And unreal. in such a short space of time, they like taught us loads of stuff, like between each of us, they're coming up and yeah. telling us their stories and just giving us advice, and it was yeah. just, it, just, everyone was absorbing it. True legends always. and true professionals, yeah. it was a, a brilliant day. Yeah. Yeah. Kyle got to meet one of his all-time heroes as well. Yeah, I met uh, Anthony Head, and he was from one of my favourite TV shows. <laughs> and I previously told Tom to not act like a fangirl, if there any celebrities. <laughs> and then I saw him, I was like... Literally, when, when he got told, his, his jaw actually dropped, that? I was like, oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> he, was, he was like, go and ask me for a picture, we'll have a picture. He was like, calm down, let's breathe, let's breathe. He, he had a picture, and he was, he was really nice, he was a nice man, yeah. It was, and, and yeah. so that song's quite good. Did you get a chance to hear any of the other songs? Just, just yeah, yeah, just, yeah, yeah, yeah. What are you reckon? They're, they're all good. good. They're they're nice all really nice beautiful songs. voices in that song as well. Ours yeah. is better. <laughs> <laughs> but like I said, they're all for a good cause, and yeah. for the, but the talent that's in each of the songs is just incredible. You just don't expect it. No, yeah. Like I say, it's just a privilege for us to be able to do it, really. Like, obviously, it, it's for charity, and we're going to have given up our time, and stuff, but it's literally nothing to us. Like, it's amazing we're that we've been asked yeah. to do it. Like we're more privileged than anyone to, to be able to be yeah. featured on the chart. To be honest with you, we, we just hope it gets out there now, and yeah. can, people can back it and download it just to raise as much money for charity as possible. Yeah. I think it, it brings as well like a different kind of fan base to, for us as yeah. well. Obviously, we've got like teenage girls and stuff that you would usually expect of a boy band because it's a more of a mature sound and mature song and stuff. Bringing them um, up, it's yeah. bringing in a different audience as well yeah. that it, people can see that you know it's not just for auto-tuned guys, it's, it's for people who do actually sing and can sing, so. How did you get on with Adia, your esteemed producer? Um, he's Amazing. very, very, um, what would you call it, he's very He's crazy, yeah. he's very in a good way, like crazy good, like he, he's got so much passion, he's, yeah. even when he's watching this thing, he's like... Yeah. yeah, I think the thing is, I mean, sometimes you go to a studio, especially if you do modern day music, and you record and they'll be like, oh, we can, we can tweak yeah. that for you, we can just, you know, we can do this for you, we can edit that, but he's very passionate, he wants everything yeah. to be right, and it's just, 
So yeah, keep going and so going. Much better, going. Yeah. I think yeah. we've been with some producers that literally just like try and churn it out. They just try and you know, do it. Yeah, like you like say, just do it and we'll auto tune it. But like uh, AD really gets into it and really wants you to yeah. enjoy what you're singing and stuff, which I think is amazing. It sounds really yeah. It gives you yeah, the yeah, confidence. Like, so yeah, when you're singing, it. when you're singing, you're looking at him. He's like proper all the way. Dancing if you're finished changing, <laughs> he'll tell you. Yeah. But yeah. He keeps you going all the way it's through. The it's just they trash the studio when we record it. Yeah. Arms everywhere. Like sun's going. And what do you think of AD's? Yeah, it's, it's, I a think it's, uh, it's yeah, it's a converted church, oh, wasn't it? It's nice. Apparently, the house across the road is haunted, very haunted. So, it's got a kind of feel to it. It's, it's nice. So you, you, you put a ghost effect on this track. Yeah. Yeah. You know, it's very this, gothy. This, this whole house screens music, and yeah. that's why you can tell how passionate it is because yeah. everywhere you look, there's an instrument in every yeah. room. Yeah, exactly. So, and this microphone's hanging around. <laughs> right, so. I've, ch I've changed the locks. They're sensing the shop. He's not getting back in now. Fifty W pad. I really like it. You know. Yeah. One last thing then, overall impressions of the competition and everything, just give us your highlight of each, each one of your stuff, each one. Of the overall Bernardo's project, it's just, it's incredible because it's picking up all the talents from all different areas that you never will go through, like all the songwriters, musicians, singers, yeah. choirs, it's bringing it all together and showing that, you know, the talent's everywhere and it's for a good cause. For me, it's the opportunity to raise as much money as we can, and hopefully everyone does back in and gets as much money raised for charity, and then we can see the end results and see how many other people's lives can be changed from mm -hmm. it as well. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I originally wouldn't be able to pick anything out that I like. Literally, just being able to be involved is, is a privilege enough for me. I can't really think of anything that stands out. The whole process has been amazing. So yeah, I'm going to tick all the boxes. I agree with all three of them. <laughs> and just the chance to be at the Made of Our Studios, yeah. which is because there's some acts that are out there that are massive and sold millions of records that actually haven't been there themselves. So. It's a damn privilege. <laughs>